I made this game in 40 hours for the 2020 GMTK Game Jam, but more on that later. Now, there was a point in my life where I would have thought this a ridiculous, stupid, and honestly impossible challenge. I mean, how can you create a game in 40 hours from scratch? But over the past two years, I've been learning how to make games. And I'm proud to say that this was my best jam yet. This year's theme was Roll of the Dice. And as an avid board game player myself, it was right up my alley. The jam took place from noon on Friday to noon on Sunday. However, I had some IRL stuff going on Friday, so the jam started late for me, really Saturday morning kicking off dev work. And just like that, 48 hours became 32. But, 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 that wasn't the worst thing in the world because I spent most of my time Friday night during that event thinking about the theme and honestly came up with a much better idea than my initial one. Before we get to that, I think it's incredibly useful to set some goals before you start any adventure. So for this game jam, my goals were to one, pick an idea and scope that I can complete in 48 hours. Two, make the game feel good to play. That can mean different things for different games, whether that's juice, sound effects, just nice UI, whatever it was, I was going to try to make that one of the focuses of this game. Three, make all of the game sound effects with my mouth. That sounds ridiculous, but I think it's going to make the game feel more charming. With all that as a backdrop, let us finally dive into the design session and talk about what this game jam was for me. One of my very first ideas was a jailbreaker type dice builder where you could have some weird combinations of skills and and then when I took that break to go do my IRL thing, my brain kept going. I kept thinking and I came up with what I think is a much better idea. Earlier that week, I'd been watching Day9 play Stacklands on his stream. Now, Day9 is one of my favorite creators of all time and honestly, probably the first streamer I ever watched back in the day when he was doing his Day9 dailies and playing StarCraft 2. And I thought Stacklands had a very simple aesthetic combined with some very simple mechanics that I could then also combine with dice, which would be perfect for this theme. Saturday, this was the moving day, the day I was gonna get so much work done and I was gonna supercharge it by waking up bright and early at six in the morning. It feels quite like a blur in hindsight. I woke up at six in the morning, grabbed a giant cup of coffee, got a quick little workout in, and then went live on Twitch. I ended up being live for over 12 hours, which was by far a record for me. Now, in most Game Jam games, I'm going back and forth between trying to figure out what I wanna do and then how to do it, but in this Game Jam with my past six months of doing development work day in and day out, I knew what I was doing. I was firing on all cylinders and it felt great. I got the dice moving, I got cards in place so I could move them around, I could put workers inside of cards, they could create new dice, I got a goal section set up, and then I started to even implement more specific cards with specific mechanics, and that's where I ran into a bit of a problem. You see, as you develop for a really long period of time, eventually your brain starts to shut down and the amount of spaghetti code you create explodes almost exponentially. Eventually. And so before I did too much damage to the project, I wrapped things up around seven o'clock at night, hung out with Carl and my partner. She and I relaxed, watched a little bit of Ted Lasso, and then I set my alarm clock for 4.30 in the morning. Oh, wait, hey, six, 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 no, 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 I want to get up 4.30. I needed, the, I needed the extra hours. All right, all right, all right, let's grab a shower. Let's go, let's go. Let's, we're going to cut the workout in. We're just going to grab coffee. We're going to go. We're going to hop on stream. That's a little bit of what it felt like when I woke up on Sunday morning. I had planned at 4.30, which seems ridiculously early, but I definitely thought I needed the extra time. So as I was sitting in the shower, thinking about it, taking some deep breaths, I realized that I had set my alarm clock for 4.30 p.m., not 4.30 a.m. like I had planned. I calmed myself down, I hopped on a stream, I expressed what had happened, and then we just started going. I was manic, I was almost a man on a mission. I was a machine, I was just driving forward to the finish line. And by the time I had about two hours left, we had play tested, we had put it on itch, and it was time for the best part of it. It was time to make the sound effects with my mouth. I'll tell you what, I had a lot of fun making these sound effects live on Twitch. It was an absolute blast. I hope you as the audience enjoyed watching it as well. And as the deadline came and passed, I had done it. I had created a game and for me, what was 32 hours of development work or 48 hours of really, if you included that thinking time. Now I present to you my game, all work and no dice. Boop. 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 Boop.
Feel free to go rate the game down below if you have also participated in the Game Jam game or if you've just rated a bunch of other games. There is a link below to both the Itch page and my Twitch page if you want to come watch me live. Thinking back on the Game Jam, I have a few takeaways I'd like to share. The first being really try to nail down the scope of your game. I think this idea was a little large for the amount of time I had, especially with my delayed start. I think I could have used five to 10 more hours and really have made this puppy shine. I'm still happy with the result, but I think that that extra time really did make the end result not exactly what I was looking for. My second piece of feedback for myself is that there's this golden hour in game dev during a game jam where you need to create really good clean code using good practices and then you need to flip the switch to just make it to work. I should have flipped that switch about midday Saturday and instead I flipped it Saturday, Sunday morning and toward the end of Saturday I wasted a lot of time building out some systems that I really didn't need to do when I could have just been hacking something together. Regardless, this was still an incredible game jam. I'd like to thank the devs over at itch for helping put this on. I'd like to thank Mark Brown personally. You've taught me a lot over the years and this game jam really is one of the things that sparked my love for building games back in 2020. I'm honored to have participated and streamed my progress live over on Twitch. If you've enjoyed what you watch here, please like and subscribe. I'm Aramis. Have a good day.